What's up everyone, my name is Matsudan and in this video we will cover Grammarly vs ProWriting Aid. We will conduct two tests in total, so without wasting our time, let's get started. The first paragraph we are testing is on the screen. I can already see more than 10 mistakes, but how many mistakes both can find? Grammarly comes with a writing assistant, which helps you to fix mistakes. When you click on learn more, you find a few examples with an explanation of the error. Moving to the first mistake, ProWriting Aid has successfully spotted this mistake, but not fully. It should be YouTubers. As I'm using the free account, both would not suggest the comma and other advanced mistakes. I believe that ProWriting Aid focuses on enhancing your text a lot. It tries to remove most of the words which don't add much information. Well, it's good, but sometimes if there is a word limit you have to get, then it can produce slight issues. Anyway, back to the test. ProWriting Aid spotted this mistake. Let's fix it. Grammarly, on the other hand, did not suggest the word correctly. The combination I buy is not correct. Moving on, Grammarly has found another mistake but could not fix it correctly. The original words are, I am busy learning how Google works. Let's fix the sentence and then fix all those minor mistakes. Now ProWriting Aid has suggested a weird word. The word bitten does not make any sense here. Let's see what Grammarly is suggesting. Well, Grammarly got that right. The feature I was talking about ProWriting Aid. You can see that it is requesting to remove a bit and as well words. Okay, now we have another error. About both the tools, I have seen that if there are two mistakes in one sentence, one in the beginning and one in the middle or somewhere else, the tool won't show the following error until you don't fix the first mistake. Sometimes you find another one in the same sentence after fixing the mistake. That's because of that. Alright, it's time to fix the advanced mistakes. I'm going to speed up the video here. Well, the sentence starting with the words on YouTube does not make any sense. But again, after fixing the word on, Grammarly is suggesting to add a comma. Alright, it's time to check the score. It's 6 against 7. ProWriting Aid has won this round. Don't worry, we have a second test. Let's see the text we will be fixing. There are multiple mistakes in this text as well. Initially, both have been able to find 9 mistakes in total. For the first mistake, this is the same as removing as well in the first round. Depending on the context, you might wanna use either. So let's don't count this as a solution. Grammarly is suggesting removing the before the word time. And another thing it has caught is the word TikTok. Well, ProWriting Aid isn't suggesting the correct word at all. A fact about both tools. Double clicking on a word shows the synonyms for that word in both the tools. Grammarly does this job better as it shows all the possible contexts where the word can be used and its synonyms to use in each context. Let's fix those minor errors. ProWriting Aid is requesting to add a comma after conjunction aid and it is suggesting to change us to we. Grammarly well spotted the mistake on word needs, but ProWriting Aid could not. A new error after the word so, but Grammarly is not suggesting the correct word. So no point for this tool either. So by looking at the score, we have 9 against 8 and this time Grammarly is the winner. Depending on the reason, one tool can perform better than the other. If you have some school stuff, then I suggest using Grammarly because it won't remove many words with less meaning and give you good suggestions. For blogging and stuff, I believe ProWriting Aid is better because there is no limit and you have to be efficient as much as possible. Ultimately, I believe using both the tools for better writing. Anyway, thanks for watching Grammarly vs ProWriting Aid. If you are looking for Grammarly vs Microsoft Editor, then check out the card. I used almost the same text in that video to test both. So, I hope the video was helpful. Please let me know your views in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you and take care.